Hi friends, welcome to The Daily Deeper. Today I want to talk to you about the secret of being content because I think that's something we've lost as Americans. It's not really our fault because people get paid a lot of money on commercials to convince us that we have all these things that we that we need and they try to get us to buy all these things and social media we can just be scrolling and we see all the highlights of people's lives and we start to feel dissatisfied with our own life but hebrews 13 5 says keep your life free from the love of money be content with what you have because god says for i will never leave you or forsake you and i love that part because it says be content with what you have because God is with you. When we have God with us, he's enough. There's a convicting question that we can ask ourselves in moments of dissatisfaction. Has Christ crucified and resurrected on our behalf? Has he done enough or must he do a little bit more? We have to let this truth just sink into the core of our beings that Christ is enough. How else could Paul, who was shipwrecked and beaten and imprisoned, write in Philippians chapter 4, I have learned the secret of being content, whatever the circumstances. Paul says a little bit later in that same chapter, I can do all things through Christ because Christ is enough. So today to practice the art of being content, here's one thing I want you to try. Change your focus. Our eyes can only focus on one thing at a time. The rest is just peripheral. We focus on what our brain deems important, and the rest we just blur out. When we're in a state of uncontentment, it's because we're focusing on the wrong things. We're looking at earthly and temporary things to satisfy, so we have to change our focus back to heavenly things. When we take our eyes off of what's around us and fix our eyes on Jesus and just delight in his love, marvel at his glory and his beauty, that is when everything else starts to blur out. Christ was crucified and resurrected on your behalf. If he never did another thing for us, that would be enough. But he continues to pour out his blessings on us every day. He is more than enough for us to live each day. So today, pay attention. If you find your heart starting to get unsatisfied or maybe jealous of things that other people have and you don't, just pause. Take a minute and bring your focus back to Jesus. Imagine having a day or a week where you were completely satisfied and content with everything that happened, no matter the state of the world, no matter if people are getting sick, no matter if you get sick, no matter what state your body is in or the nation is in, you have a deep sense of contentment and joy because our joy comes from heavenly things. Our joy comes from Christ. So today, if you can, if you're not driving, that is, just open your hands and put them in a receiving posture and just close your eyes and say, Jesus, you're enough for me. Help me to remember that today. Help me to fix my eyes on you. And thank you that you fill me with blessings. Thank you that you fill me with your joy and your love and your peace. And Jesus, you are enough. Such a good prayer to pray anytime you start feeling unsatisfied with what's going on in your life or around you. So I have one more verse to leave with you today. Philippians 4.19 I am convinced that my God will fully satisfy every need you have, for I have seen the abundant riches of glory revealed to me through the Anointed One, Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching today, and remember, Jesus is enough.